What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today I'm bringing you guys another episode of my Road to 100% Completion in Need for Speed Rivals. Now, it's been a long time since I've said welcome back to Need for Speed Rivals, because I've been playing a lot of other games, but um, a couple of you guys were, uh, were really asking me and really wanting me to bring Rivals back, and if you guys want me to... Uh, continue bringing uh, more Road to 100% in uh, in Rivals, then uh, then let me know, because I enjoy playing Rivals. I, I think it's a really cool game that um, that I feel like it might not have been the most popular Need for Speed game, but I feel like it's definitely a game that's worth playing, because it's it's quite fun. It really is quite fun. Now, since I haven't played it in, in a little while... Um, I'm a tiny bit rusty on a couple things, but hopefully, uh, hopefully we won't do too badly, um, this first time going back into it. Uh, all we gotta do for this speed list is reach heat level 5, so shouldn't be too hard. We've got a Porsche 911 GT3 we're using for this. I also, uh, unlocked the final, uh, wrap slash livery, so I put that on it, and I think it looks beast. I think it looks really, really nice, actually. So, we're gonna go ahead and find the best place to spawn in. In fact, yeah, let's go, let's, let's do this one. And I'll show you guys a little bit of, um, I don't know, a little bit of something that, uh, that one of my subscribers actually showed me. Um, I don't exactly remember, there's a, there's a video on my channel, I think, where I cover this in detail. Um, and I also link off to his video in the description. But, um, but you could definitely, you could find out more about it, uh, on my channel. Well, basically what it is, is it's a way to get money very, very quickly. And you need specific pursuit tech for it, which, um, I actually don't have... The uh, all the necessary pursuit tech here, but I'll try and at least demonstrate what you uh, what you do. Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Get out of the way! There we go. Hey, why did he end up all the way over there? Or how? And that. So basically, what you want to do is you want to confine him to basically this little bit of an area, and just continuously hit him and hit him with shock waves and and um, ESFs and things like that. So basically, just try and knock him out as quickly as possible. And we can't really do that right now um, because we don't have the necessary pursuit tech or the um, necessary upgrades on the car. But if you have a car that you specifically build for this, and I recommend the Ferrari F12, you can get mad speed points really, really fast. I mean, I think my record for this, I think I saw it in the beginning, it's like 19 seconds. So you can get tons of speed points super fast if you do this in the right car. How close is it? He's almost there. He's almost dead. We almost got him. And you can have that. One of the things you do have to do, though, before doing this is you need to put a lot of uh, reinforcement upgrades uh, on your car. And which is unfortunately something that I haven't done to this thing. So he's done. It took us a minute and 12 seconds um, as compared to my usual uh, 19 seconds. So, um... Definitely took longer than it normally does, but then again, when I when I do this, um, when I actually do that to get speed points, um, I use a specifically upgraded car. So, and this wasn't the car that I normally use for that. So it was understandable that it took quite a bit longer. So let's go ahead and get to the um, to the uh, to the nearest repair shop, and then go ahead and try to get to heat level five. We're on. What? Are you serious? I didn't even realize that we've already done it. We're on heat level six now. We don't even need to go to the repair shop because there's a there's an outpost right here. Not outpost, hideout, whatever you want to call it, but it's one right here. Damn, that was quick. Jeez. I'm quite impressed with that. I'm quite, Im I'm quite impressed with the fact that we were just... I was like, oh, we gotta do the speed list? Boom, done. Achievement. What for? Racer rank 40. Not bad. 40 gamer score, not bad. I didn't even realize we were level 39 um, uh, when we started this because... I honestly, as I played through this game, I didn't really pay attention to my level at all. Uh, I just kind of played through the game because, I don't know, in racing games, I don't generally pay attention to my level. It's just kind of what it ends up being. I only pay attention to my level usually in, um, in shooter games because in a shooter, that's when it's more, like, that's when it's more important. You, you tend to care about it more. Um, and in this speed list, you just have to do the same thing. So we'll just go ahead and get that done real quick. But... Um, in this, in, in this game, and pretty much any other racing game, I, I generally don't pay attention to my rank very much, because I feel like it's not necessary in a racing game. I feel like it's not really that necessary to pay attention to your rank. I mean, you unlock cars as you go, and as long as you're unlocking cars and tracks and events, in my opinion, you really don't need to pay attention to your, to your rank at all. 
So I'm going to try and find another Interceptor event because I know I could finish that real fast. Or actually, maybe I should... Eh, I don't know. Maybe I should do... I can find a hard hot pursuit that isn't the Goliath race. So, um, or... Are you serious? There's a new Interceptor? It's, it's a new one. I've never done it before and it's, an, it's on easy. Uh, that's kind of unacceptable. We got to get that done. We got to get that done immediately. I can't leave one like that just hanging around. Absolutely not. Especially when we're going for 100% completion. And sooner or later, I'll have to do the, uh, the Overwatch deal for the Maserati because I'll admit I've been avoiding Overwatch because the one time I tried it, it seemed a bit boring. But... I don't know. I'll, I'll I'll go back to it again and see if I see if I actually end up enjoying it or not the next time I go back. And you could have that. This Bentley's a tank. He might take a little bit longer to take out than that Hennessy. In fact, he'll take a lot longer to take out than the Hennessy. I can tell you that for a fact. There we go. There we go. I mean, his health is going down, but not as quickly, like I said, not as quickly as I would prefer. But then again, like I said also before, that Bentley is a tank. He's got a ton of health. If you're like, if you're one of those players that's like not, not that good at avoiding obstacles, get, get this Bentley because it barrels through everything. It barrels through absolutely everything you put in front of it, no questions asked. It's a, it's a tank and a battering ram. Basically rolled into one car. He's almost out of it. Nearly there. Now we are out of uh, we are out of shockwaves, so that might mean might mean we're gonna take a little bit longer. But as long as we play it smart, we'll be good to go. Oh, he's almost dead. He's almost dead. Nearly. Nearly. Ah, fooled you, didn't I? Oh, yes, he's out of it. He's done. Is that going to up my heat level at all? At all? Well, actually, probably not because it was an easy event. Let me take the GPS route off. And let's actually go ahead and, let's see, events, uh, time trials. Let's do a hard time trial. Maximum velocity. 5.4 miles away, which pro which means we'll probably end up getting in a cop chase uh, between here and there. But, I mean, if we end up end up making it the whole way without getting in a cop chase, I'll be very surprised. Honestly, I'll be extremely surprised if we make it the whole way without a cop chase. Ugh, it's a traffic car. Heat level 4. Nearly there. Yep, yep, what did I tell you? And that's another Bentley, too. Luckily, there's a repair shop right there because my health is kind of low. Nearly critical. Oh, jeez. Thank you. I'm still going to head to the event, but who knows? Maybe along the way, we'll just up the heat level anyway. 911 Turbo Cop. I haven't been chased by one of those in a while. Switch over to the left side. Try and keep a decent pace going. So if we can keep a decent pace going and we can keep the cops off of us, we can get this heat level up pretty easily. Goodbye, roadblock. Not having any of that. Oh, come on! Woo! Not- Oh, really? Who put that there? Damn it, who put that there? Screw you, Need for Speed developers, EA. Nearly escaped. Let's see if we can hide behind here. Well, that would be perfect. Oh, what? Really? Damn helicopter found us. Are you serious? Yeah, no, they found us. The only reason why they found us is because of that dang helicopter. That is the only reason. And you could have some of that. Oh, I see the perfect way out. Yep. We can actually get lined up properly. Jeez. Oh my god, he ran me from behind. The only problem right now is that helicopter. If, they, they, if he wasn't on us, it'd be a lot easier to escape these guys. A lot. What the heck? Clipped a freaking wall. 
Didn't expect to get crashed out, though. Two helis? What? We're only on heat level four, and they've got two helis on us. Dang, that's a that's quite a lot, actually. You generally don't get that until, like, five or six. Heat level five or six. Come on. Oh, they won't be expecting that. I don't know, maybe they will. Come on. What? Oh, they hid that. They hid that spike strip right in the beam of light. Luckily, we got a repair shop. And thankfully, we missed that guardrail. That guardrail was right there. What? Jeez, traffic cars. These traffic cars are ruining my day right now. Or at least trying to. We'd almost escape, too. Still heading towards the time trial. I don't know if it's going to matter if once we escape this pursuit, but we're still heading for it. Pursuit resumed. Dang, it's just spawned another random cop back there. Come on then, GT3. Whoa. A little sharper than I wanted that to be. Where is the cop? Oh, they, he just spawned in. I hate how they can just spawn in wherever they want. Even when you're escaping, they just spawn in wherever they want and just take you. Oh, yes, the cave. This cave is awesome because it's perfect for losing cops. Except then, except then. He was just able to stay right on me. Oh, never mind. And, well, we should be able to get away from him. Any available backup? Over. Unfortunately, the cops in this game have this huge catch-up advantage. So if they use their catch-up ability, then you're, you're screwed because they can go basically 300 miles an hour or whatever they want. Uh, you know, get off me, GT3. God, he's acting like another cop. Dang, dude. I love how the, the shockwave just kind of lagged for a split second. Lagged for a split second, and then it hit him. Didn't hit him immediately. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, they're not following me through there. Oh, yes. They weren't able to. Thank you. Whoever's, whoever's doing the Overwatch, thank you. I really, really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Nearly escaped. Nearly there. What? Pursuit resumed. Right as I crashed, too. And it was a helicopter light. Dang. It was a helicopter light. Oh, my God. Okay. The second I reach heat level 5, I am finding a, um, an outpost and going into it immediately because I am not... Uh, gonna just let them chase me over and over and over and over again. Thank you for the nitrous. Mm, not fooling me with the spike strip th the trick this time. But shining the light on the spike strip is actually... A, I'll give it to... I gotta give it to him. That's a really decent trick. Because it works. You can't see it. They're just shining the spotlight on it. You can't see it. Oh god, I was I was worried for a minute we weren't gonna make it that time. Come on. Get, what? It's like they know where I'm gonna be all the time. Just like no questions asked, they know exactly where I am. Oh break, break, break. Not I wanted to e-break only a little bit, but it, it took it to mean that I wanted to break. Um, a ton. Dang it. Oh, come on, repair it. There we go, there we go. I'm not trying to go for a time challenge or time record. I just want to get away. Dang, they got a ton of spike strips set up. A ton of them. Where they get all of those? 
And who lays them out? Two helicopters again. They usually don't have this many helicopters. Nope. Dang it. I saw it. I was breaking and I saw it. Ooh, they can have that. They can have that. And that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought I was going to crash right there. I was worried that there was, like, a guardrail hidden in there. Because they do that sometimes. They hide guardrails in, like, ra like rows of tires and stuff. Which is a really, really, really evil thing to do, in my opinion. So many cops on me now. Jeez. And my heat level hasn't gone up. That's what I'm surprised about. I was expecting it to go up by now. We're way far away from that time trial we were originally going to do. In fact, I'm just going to take that route off. Because once we escape this, I guarantee you our heat level will go up. Come on! Oh, jeez. If, if, if they would only get rid of that helicopter. Or if I could shake that helicopter. Ooh. Just all over me. You weren't expecting that, were you? I don't think so. Speed list complete. Oh, I reached level 5. Okay. Sweet. Alright, let's get back to a hideout because I've had it with this chase. I'm getting back to a hideout immediately. There's no way they can drop a spike strip in front of me at this speed. Suspect. Show me his Come on, there's an outpost right around the corner. Why do I keep saying outpost? I mean hideout. Alright, you break it and bank it. What? No, I meant to bank it. Ooh, okay, right at the end there, I, I was like, I clicked um, LB, and I was wondering why it wasn't actually banking my points. And it seemed really weird. I was like, why aren't you banking my points? It doesn't make any sense. So we ended up completing both of those speed lists, which um, I'm honestly pretty pleased about. I'm pretty pleased that we actually completed um, both of those speed lists because I didn't expect um, I didn't expect to actually get two speed lists done uh, in this episode. Now, granted, they were one objective uh, per speed list, but still, it's two speed lists. So if you guys enjoyed this episode of Road to 100% Completion and Need for Speed Rivals, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section below if you guys want to see more. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.